Hello, my beautiful Cancers, and welcome. I am Rena Wells. Today, we're going to do our Stata readings, and we're going to be using just regular playing cards. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, a little bit of my history. I've been um, doing this since I was eight years old uh, and was taught by uh, an amazing woman. And so uh, I started off with playing cards when I was very young, um, before I got my first tarot deck in my teenage years. So we're going to be doing Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus and your north node. This is for Astara. Astara is the spring equinox that is happening this weekend. So I wanted to do something special for you guys. This is about what is going on in your connection right now. This is twin flame, soulmate, alchemy, um, what you're manifesting. Now, before we start, um, I want you to think of your person, okay? Uh, who, and, and go by your gut instinct. With this reading, it's very different than anything you're gonna see on YouTube. Um, the card meanings are different as well. So let's let's take a look at this. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to think of your person, think about the connection, spirit's going to come through, and one is darker and one is lighter, okay? So I want you to think who has, uh, you know, darker hair, darker eyes, darker energy, uh, who can work in the dark better, and who has the lighter hair, the lighter eyes, the lighter energy, and just go by your gut instincts in regards to that, okay? Because we're going to be using the uh, red as light and the black as your dark person. This is yin energy. This is yang energy. Masculine energy is the red, yeah, and feminine energy is the black, all right? So let's see if your person is thinking about you, okay? Uh, usually I do these with initials, but because I don't know your person's name, Spirit is just going to intuitively guide me for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on in their connection right now for the Spring Equinox? What changes are coming, Spirit? What changes are coming and what is happening here? Thank you. Okay, so let's take a look. They're telling me seven cards for cancer okay I don't know if your person has seven letters or seven uh, letters in their name but that's how it is all right this is for your person and your connection so let's take a look if you guys like this make sure you hit the like and subscribe um, yeah, let's take a look. Sorry, this takes a while because we're going through the whole deck, but I guess we're going to be using seven. Seven is a very spiritual number, so let's take a look. What is going on in your connection? Masculine energy, feminine energy, mirroring very much. Okay, Cancer, we have masculine energy, masculine energy. Could be a third party situation, is what I'm seeing. All right, we have masculine is thinking more about this situation than the feminine because we have more red than we do black. There's a lot of massive changes. We have two of you are changing at exactly the same time, okay? We have uh, family issues here that are also coming up that are causing the, the changes. We have two fives, which equals a 10, which is coming to an end of something. This masculine is really thinking about wealth, really thinking about money, but may also be um, involving something with a foundation with somebody else, okay? We also have here um, really trying to focus on themselves, really trying to... Uh, <sighs> the biggest issue right now is, a, is something of a third-party situation. Both of you are thinking about this third-party situation, okay? Let's take a look. The person is going through massive change as you are, okay? I, there's a lot of, um, um, I don't want to say communication, but it's more of like a bickering energy that's happening with this change with the masculine energy. With the feminine energy is really trying to seek divinity right at this time, okay? So whatever the feminine energy is doing right now is really trying to seek a certain type of... Um, 
leverage in their spirituality, in their heart space, and to uh, surrender this right now. That's the change that's happening with the feminine energy. The masculine energy is really having some type of bickering, some type of back and forth, some type of power struggle is what I'm getting, Cancer. Uh, what is going on here? <sighs> yeah, the feminine is really holding a really strong... Um, heart space for the masculine to be able to start something new to be able to move towards yeah it's about family it's about family how to move from old patterns of family into something new and the feminine energy is really holding that space both of you are very much thinking about other people okay so it could be your masculine it could be you um there's a contemplation that's going back that's the center of the read the foundation here is about wanting to message and talk to each other wanting to communicate with each other but there's there's not a lot of that happening right now okay trying to really work on self yeah the feminine energy really wants some type of expression of love knowing that the masculine from the masculine energy okay knowing that there is some type of uh, hard work that the masculine is doing to the for themselves working on themselves trying to bring about a lot of change and so this feminine energy we also have divine counterparts here um, are looking at um, this feminine is doing a lot of work of surrendering but still holding space so whoever this feminine is you're awesome um, you have you are grounding this connection and this masculine is really working on themselves and you are recognizing the, what the work that this masculine is doing. Okay. Yeah. You're laying your own foundations. You are um, working on your passions and yourself and it's actually forcing the masculine energy to move into their own selves. Okay. So let's take a look. This is the fun part. Um, let's see what you have in common what the spring equinox is bringing towards the two of you and what is in common with you. All right, so this takes a little bit. It's not shuffling, it's completely different, you guys. All right, we take one from the top, one from the bottom and we see where your energies are currently merging. Let's take a look. Wow, didn't I say the two fives, right? So massive shifts and changes that are happening. Let's see what else you have in common two twos okay so this is about friendships communication coming together yeah ending of cycles okay family money stability you're both thinking about these things oh there's the wild card yeah we can make that whatever we want so we will take that Okay, this is about sex. So this is about the, the dark sins of sex. Okay, this is about um, the lustful stuff, the stuff the devil keeps you trapped in. And I'm seeing this. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. That's a little bit of a heavy load there. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, so look at this. You're both thinking about a third party. All right. There's something else going on with that. Yeah, because I have the Joker in there, it's it's a little bit uneven, but that's fine. All right, Spirit, what else does Cancer have in common with their partner? What is going on with the energies for the Equinox, please, for spring? Wow, look at this. Divine love right here, guys. Your masculine loves the feminine as much as the feminine loves the masculine. It's an equal, it's an equal reciprocity, all right? Yeah, you're both really working through the deadly sins okay trying to love the sins trying to love the darkness at the same time uh, i'm also seeing a letter of communication maybe coming in as well we have um divine feminine is actually feeling a lot of this love coming from the masculine loves the masculine loves this feminine okay deeply and truly okay We're going to clarify a very significant way as well too. These cards are about um, numerology. It taps into all kinds of stuff. So let's see what else spirit last run. We do it three times. Three is magical number. We do everything in magic and manifestation with threes and ritual. We do it in threes. 
I think that might be it for you guys. Okay, we're gonna clarify with these as well too. So, and I clarify different, very differently as well. So Spirit is saying there's a lot of change that is happening for the both of you. And the reason why the change is happening Um, it's really about the Holy Trinity that's happening. God is, is bringing this into you guys. Okay, Cancer, there's massive shifts that are happening, the arguments, the power circles, and both of you are going through this at the exact same time. Okay, so what we have here is um, feminine energy is, is passionately trying to work through this change. Masculine is monetarily trying to work through this change. And the Holy Trinity is coming in with massive love, massive abundance, um, and is really guiding you, both of you through some very uh, challenging mental time. Look at this massive change, Cancer. Massive change with this equinox. Feminine is feeling this change in the masculine. Okay. Ma it, it's mostly the masculine that's going through this, but the feminine is definitely, again, look at the yin energy, is very much holding this down, feeling the pain of the masculine, feeling the, the conflict, the mental energy, the changes, and still holding and feeling and holding this for the masculine as the Holy, Holy Trinity comes through. Both of you want to come together in some type of communication. There is something about communication, to talk about money, to talk about new endeavors, to work together, to try and passionately come together in regards to uh, a third party situation. Um, this is about how to move forward um, in regards to what's happened financially with this third party situation, okay? Somebody may have lost some money, yeah. Somebody has gone to the pits of hell with this third party situation. This is the masculine, which is in a third party situation. Um, that's karmic situation. And what's happened is that the pain has completely, uh, the Holy Trinity, we have the Holy Trinity here, but we have the devil here. Okay. So we have, um, mimicking, mimicking. Thank you, spirit. Mimicking, uh, uh, this third party is trying to mimic a twin flame connection, but it's not. So it's very karmically charged. Um, and the Divine Feminine is really holding this space for, uh, again, working on the passion, working on the mission, moving forward. And this Masculine is really trying to come together and work out all of that money stuff with a very dark energy, okay? Yeah. Both of you are looking at completing cycles. Divine Feminine is looking at completing the mental cognitive uh, patterns of the mind and the divine masculine is healing the heart space and clearing the cycles of the heart. So both of you are trying to realign. Look at this, a seven on top of a seven. That is a very spiritual number. It's going to bring a lot of good luck. Both of you are going to have a lot of abundance that comes in for you. A lot of good luck. Massive, look at this, 10, 10, 10, three tens, massive endings of cycles with massive abundance of luck. Spirit is saying massive, yeah, that's because this divine feminine is holding this masculine. She's holding his pain. She's holding, um, and it's a shared pain in the union, right? It's not, um, when you're a twin, um, you feel the same way. Like it's, it's, it is what it is. So it's like you're holding you're recognizing that it's in the other vessel, that pain is in the other vessel, but you are also recognizing that your masculine is going through something. And so you're holding that passion and you're focusing on that as the masculine heals and moves through a lot of stuff in regards to um, ending massive, huge cycles, but luck is on your side, okay? So this is what the equinox is bringing up for you. So let's get into the, I'm going to get into the dark sex stuff. That's this stuff here. Let's skip that for now. Okay, Spirit wants me to clarify. Let's do it. Let's clarify the dark sex, the lust, the seduction, the fake sex, the passion, right? Everyone thinks that the passion is real, is really love. It's not God's love. That's the devil's love. So what I'm seeing here in your connection is like there's a massive, um, push and pull between the higher realms and the lower realms. Your masculine is going through the pits of hell and trying to pull himself out of it or herself. However, the masculine energy is, is in a vessel. Um, yeah. And this divine love, <laughs> 
and new beginnings of love is definitely wanting to come in. It's trying to heal this, okay, for a new solidified foundation, for something brand new that the masculine is trying to bring in this divine love to heal. This masculine may have sex addictions. That's really what I'm getting, okay? Look, really looking at the offers coming in, looking at... Um, the offers from the devil, from the sin, and offers from divine love. And trying to see how to build a foundation out of that. Spirit wants me to do one more for this. Which we will. Let's clarify one more time. Yeah. It's, it's, it's massive um, foundation. Look at this. Okay, so we have another seven. Okay, so... This is this is the the bad luck stuff, okay? So we have really good luck here for ending cycles. Spirit is really guiding that to pull the masculine out of these pits of hell, out of the pit of hell. Okay, this is a lot of like deep money issues, financial issues. Um, your your master may be going through um bankruptcy or some something is happening. I feel like it's like a very um polar opposite what's happening with your masculine. It's like sometimes it's like super good and then crash and burn, and then super good. There's like no in between in this situation. But this contrast has to happen for your masculine to be able to see what is actually going on. This sex seduction keeps pulling the masculine in, then everything falls apart then the you know the foundation starts to fall and the bad luck starts happening and um this joker is here because this can become anything um with whatever card it came comes up with and i i, I spirit told me to throw it in there i don't usually do it because it makes the deck uneven but spirit wanted me to do that because obviously um this is a free will choice this isn't something that someone's trapped into so this masculine is choosing to play in it and can't see, and that's why it's an addiction. Okay? Yeah. So this third-party situation, you're both thinking about it. Okay, you either both have certain other people or you're thinking about it. About the karmic situation. Seven. I've got one seven left, guys. So many sevens on this. It's Definitely spirit is passionately coming in and um, working for the divine feminine in regards to this, okay? It's the divine feminine that's bringing in spirit, okay? That's holding that down, yeah. And trying to show uh, the abundance of what real sexuality is. Uh, divine feminine is working on sexual things too, but in the light of God in creator force the energy getting turned on by energy more than physical stuff feeling that energy of spirit first and that's actually why this masculine is going in back and forth <laughs> between this right um there is divine love your masculine loves the feminine as much as the feminine loves the masculine so there's not a lack of love here it's the devil it's the karmic situation that's taking the away from the passion of this connection. There is a passionate new foundation that's being offered here from Spirit. As the equinox comes, there is going to be a brand new foundation, Spirit says, that's going to build. It's just at a, um, both of you, both y'all gotta talk. You gotta talk. That's really what Spirit is saying. Both y'all gotta talk about this. Um, it's a feminine that wants to come forward and discuss this. It's the masculine. What's going on? Give me one more spirit. It's the masculine that's having issues here because of his changes of his heart. So he's got to change. There is a portal that's opening up here, okay, for the masculine um, to have that change. We're going to we're gonna clear this. I'm going to pull some regular cards for you guys because I know you guys seeing this may not understand it. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at, uh, what your focus is on. Your focus is really on, you know, um, how to move this forward, how this is going to work. Um, and having that infinity heart that is also happening. Yeah. Um, really about healing separate. This is the separation. This is to heal the separation. Okay. Both of you want to work on healing the separation. Yeah. 
for love. Look at this. This is a very healthy love. This is divine love. This is, okay, this sex stuff keeps coming up here, okay? So this sex stuff is for the monetary aspect, okay? I'm trying to heal that um, is what Divine Feminine is doing. And the divine love as well is coming in through the sex stuff to, to heal. And that's what's healing and to change the focus of this connection, okay? Divine Feminine is really here holding so much abundant love for the masculine two queens of uh reds okay that are happening here so so much love a monetary it's like ten of pentacles and ten of cups here okay ten of pentacles and ten of cups kind of energy here okay yeah <laughs> passionately actioning the divine okay giving it to god giving it to spirit and saying yeah do your magic spirit do your magic yeah make it abundant make it abundant you're divine feminine you're sitting here going you're 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 good you're good you're doing a really good job you're bringing in this love together you're merging the two together okay all right wow let's take a look at some more energy so that i wanted to share that with you guys um, let's take a look at some other energies and see some oracle messages for you guys. Since I know uh, I wanted to throw that out there, you guys could see the cards. Let me know if you like the playing cards, if you liked those messages. Um, I can continue that on the channel, but I wanted to try that out. Let's get some romance angels. Let's open some portal energies. Let's see what else is happening. Can we get some um, other energy spirit in regards to... Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. <laughs> Give your relationship a chance, okay? What energies are open? Oh, that was weird. What energies are opening up here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Some Oracle messages, please, Spirit. What is going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the Spring Equinox? What romance? Love energies are opening up for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can we get some energies near future energies and what is opening up in this divine connection, please? Okay. There's a new newness coming here, getting to know each other. All right, so there is a lot of family stuff that was healing, and we saw that that was opening up. Getting to know each other, new loves, religious factors are affecting your love life, and pay attention to the red flags. So what I'm what I'm seeing here is exactly what we were getting. It's like this back and forth. Your masculine is really trying to heal some very dark energies, okay? That's coming from family patterns, and we saw that already. So there's still going to be a need. You're both coming together. But please realize your mask is coming out of a very dark space and is very, um, this is a new love, um, but there's going to be some spiritual differences here because this masculine is still learning. There's going to be some red flags still because this mask is still pulling out of a very addictive pattern, okay? I'm um, trying to get to know each other. Look at this. You're starting fresh, okay? And that's what I was getting. You're coming into your power and you're launching your journey, Cancer. So there, the equinox is really opening some very potent energies for you guys, but it's going to be what I'm getting for you, Cancer, is a very slow process, right? Because the masculine is still learning how to move between realms, okay? Yeah, let's get some final messages, and that will be your reading, Cancer, for the equinox. Really great energies. It's still a clearing that's happening, but that's okay. Things are moving. It may be a little on the slow side, but they're moving, all right? So this is Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Cancer and... <laughs> Look at this. I can't make this up. There's a new life coming, okay? Look at that. New life coming observe of what's happening this is your milk and honey you guys are moving into union energies spirit is working so if you're feeling that divine feminine whatever you're doing you're holding that space you're creating that that's really beautiful keep doing what you're doing just notice that these energies are about to open a new pathway for you guys um you're both coming into your power power you're but you both want this right there's divine love here we saw that with the cards you both love each other equally for a new life for a new love for a new vibration but you've got to really be 
careful about you know keeping the vibration pure who's bringing in older energies is your masculine when he comes back is he really still playing in older energies get very honest with things and keep your boundaries up but i see brand new beginnings coming with the equinox you guys so much love cancer i hope you love that please let me know below if you love the card reading i will continue it on the channel if you're new please subscribe if you want to work with me all that is down below have a wonderful astata happy uh equinox and we'll see you guys soon bye